Yo, what's up everyone? This is Tito back with another video and today I'm gonna show you how to install Android Pie 9.0 pre-release build on Redmi Note 5 Pro and Google just released it earlier today and as you can see from here I am running on bootleggers ROM right now on the Redmi Note 5 Pro but you can just do it from any other ROMs no matter even if you're like in anti-rollback ROM of MIUI you can just do it, you just need TWRP recovery and you just need to make sure that you back up everything. So all we need firstly is these three files right here. Everything will be listed in the description box below so don't worry. First of all we have the GSI image file which is the main one and this is like almost 1GB. You can just recognize it by the size. And the second one is the post GSI file which is actually the kernel. And the third one is the vendor image file which is like 400 MB in size. But firstly we need to extract the GSI image file, the biggest one which is the 1GB file. So let me just do it. So I have just extracted the Android Pi GSI as you can see. So I'll just move it in the folder just for convenience and I'll just remove the zip file from the folder because we need the image file only which is the GSI image. So here we have again these three files. GSI, kernel and the vendor. So now let me just reboot the device into TWRP and make sure again you back up everything guys because you need to format the storage once. And as you can see I am booted into official TWRP recovery 3.2.1.0. You can even do it with official latest TWRP2. First of all we need to go to wipe, now advanced wipe, now select cache, dalvik, system, data and vendor as well these five things now swipe to wipe once done go back tap install now look at the folder where you downloaded the files earlier here you will see the kernel and vendor because they are zips but to see the gsi image file you need to tap on this install image button but that's the second thing we will need so first we need to flash the vendor image file which is the v3r file name here select it and swipe to confirm flash and in the meantime let me tell you for this whole process after flashing each file you need to keep checking the mount thing again and again i'll show you what i am talking about and as the vendor file flashing done so now go home again tap on mount and from here tap firmware because it's not selected so you just need to make sure that these top five things selected in the mount section which are cache data system vendor and firmware throughout this process you need to keep checking this so now time for the GSI image. So tap install, install image. Now select the GSI image. Now flash it as system image and swipe to confirm flash and it's done. So now go home, go to mount again. I see everything is selected. So go to install again. Now select the post GSI 3 which is the kernel. Now swipe to confirm flash. Now you have to reboot the recovery so tap reboot and select recovery. So now from here even if you like see everything is all right into WRP and if you just like try to wipe cache or Dalvik you will see everything seems fine but it's actually not because from here if you try to reboot the device let me just show you if you try to reboot the device in system it will ask for password and then it will reboot the device into recovery again. As you can see it's just rebooted itself to TWRP again. So from here if you just straight go into wipe and try to format it, it won't simply work because we need to mount some things. So go to mount now. So from here mount whichever stuff you can from those top 5 things. As you can see tapping on data doesn't work here. So let's try to format the data one more time. Still doesn't work shows error. So now we have to reboot the recovery one more time. Let me just do it. Now TWRP will show you like this. So just tap never show this and swipe to allow modifications. Now go to mount again and select all those top 5 things. Now go to wipe again and format data. Now type yes and hit enter. And boom it's done. Now we can simply reboot the device but we still need to like flash the gesture fix and stuff later on but let me just reboot the device and see if it boots or not and let me just show you and as you can see we have the great boot animation right here 
and as you can see we actually booted into the android pi gsi successfully so yeah it's that simple and of course we have the damn awesome looking android pi quick toggles and the animations god damn makes me feel sick in a good way let's jump into the settings now yeah it's gonna show you some white screens for the first couple of seconds just don't worry because we still need to install the google play service fix and gesture fix and in the about section as you can see running fresh 9.0 android pi with latest august 2018 security patch which is just amazing in my opinion and this is insane So let me just connect to my Wi-Fi now and see if it works. I just entered the password. Let me just tap connect and holy smokes it's working. And at this point we just need the phone to boot into TWRP. Connect it with micro USB to the PC and copy the gesture fix, the play service APK and camera to API if you need that. All the links are in the description so don't worry. So once you have copied everything in the device, now simply head back to TWRP and first check the mount and from here make sure all the top 5 things are mounted. So I'll just select the system and vendor. Once done, go home, tap install. Now I'll just select the overlay PR1 which is the gesture fix for the Pi pre-release. I'll skip the camera to API just because I wanna check if the camera is working fine without this. So as it's done, let me just reboot, tap reboot system, do not install. So now let me go to gesture and here as you can see, we get the swipe up home gesture and it's working super fine. Now let me just install the Google Play services APK because otherwise you will keep seeing the white screens and stuff. And after installing the Google Play services, make sure you clear its data once. And this home button swipe up gesture to get recent thingy working super fine here too as you can see well enough talking about the miscellaneous stuff i just installed open camera from play store just to check if the camera is working fine or not and i have a good news yes it's working super fine but of course the results are nowhere close to gc cam or miui camera but yeah it works note that i did not flash the camera to api zip here it's just working right out of the box and this was my expression. <laughs> well, I'm shooting this video in the middle of the night, so don't judge my face. And I even tried to open the camera in the Facebook app, which you get by swiping from the left. And yeah, it did work, which is just great. And after inserting my Geo SIM card on the phone, I did not see any sign of network, but listen. All I had to do to get it working 100% is just select the access point and then go to the preferred network type and select LTE and boom, Volti and 4G data started working right away. Let me just place a call via Geo and as you can see it's working. And yes, of course the fingerprint scanner is working super fine and the setup looks dope as you can see. And here is the fingerprint scanner unlocking speed for you. Feels legitly fast in my opinion. It doesn't feel like it's a ROM ported from Google Pixel XL. And it's released just some hours ago by Google themselves. The way the animations and the device feels even right at this point of this pre-release is commendable. And the project travel thingy is effing lit. Like what do you want more? Everything like Wi-Fi, hotspot, camera, torch, double tap to wake, almost every damn thing is working super fine with the latest build of Android Pi or version 9 of Android which has just been released by Google themselves and remember it's running this fluid on a phone cost just 15,000 rupees. I'll leave it here for now. Kudos to Xiaomi, kudos to Google and most importantly the developers. Thank you so much. If you want a full review of this Android Pi build on Redmi Note 5 Pro, you know what to do. Well, subscribe to the channel. Where are you waiting for this line? Do it.
Thanks a lot for watching guys. This is Dito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one. You guys have a great day.